Hi, and now I have a sweet DIY for your Valentine's Day, chocolate. We all need chocolate on Valentine's Day. Don't they just go together? So I have um, heart molds here and we're gonna make different oil infused or, or fruit or just um, flavored chocolates. And let me tell you how easy this is and how quick um, and customizable. I'm doing um, a small batch so that you can um, do several um, flavors or try a couple options. So I have two types of recipes here. The first one is just melting um, chocolate chips, whatever your preference. I got Ghirardelli dark chocolate. I think it's 60% cacao. Um, in our family, we like dark chocolate, not too sweet. So I already melted some chocolate um, over the um, stove. Let me get it. So it like a double broiler. I just um, put the chocolates in here and put it in with about an inch or so of boiling water or simmering water and it melted pretty quick. Um, you know, we don't want to use, you could use the microwave too, but avoiding microwaves the best. So look at how easy that was. Then you just need to add about one drop, one or two drops of essential oil that is um, a vitality oil to flavor it. And it's delicious. So um, we love peppermint. That's an easy one. Well, first of all, I have a half a cup of chocolate chips melted. And then one drop of peppermint can make peppermint chocolate hearts. Um, I've already made those. This is what it looks like in here. I just stuck it in the freezer and it really just took like mm, 20 minutes. And then you can just pop them out. I did a few different flavors. So here's one that's popped out and look at how cute. Oops, <laughs> it's hard, yeah. And then you might wanna keep them in the freezer or the refrigerator so they don't melt, depending where you live. Okay, so I didn't pull my oils yet. So half cup of chocolate chips. Now I'm gonna make orange chocolate. And I'm gonna put two drops of orange. One. Come on. Two, okay. So you might have noticed I took the, the cap off of here. That's a little trick when um, you want your last drops. I'll show you what I did. Because you have that top part. It's not good to touch it. And with the lid, I pull it off and you can get the last drops. You don't wanna waste any of this valuable oil. Okay, now I'm just gonna make sure two drops is enough. <gasps> hmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay, pouring that in. And then I'm just filling up the little molds. Um, this will, my molds are kind of a big piece of chocolate, so it's like three or four, not too many. So what I did when, um, like I said, this is a small, smaller batch. You could definitely put a cup of um, chocolate chips and put like four drops of orange. And I don't think you'll have any problem if you want to like someone to lick the jar afterwards, right? When I make my lip balm, I like to do it in a jar as well. Um, and just, it's really hard to get the beeswax and such off of a, something I use all the time. So a jar is perfect. This almost made like four and a half. I'm gonna stop there and show you a second way. So that's pretty easy and delicious. I'm gonna try mm, one more. Oh, I really like the chocolate orange. Okay. So another way, maybe a little healthier, is with other products, making your own chocolate. Cacao powder and coconut oil. So just remember two. For, this is another very small batch, but it so you can test if you like it. I melted two tablespoons of the coconut oil in, in the microwave. You could do it in the double broil or two. It looks sturdy because I already did this once. And then get two tablespoons 
of cacao powder. If you have cocoa powder, that's fine too. I think this is a little, has some good properties, a little bit better for you. Okay, so mix that up. Then you put your flavoring. So again, one drop peppermint, two drops orange. Um, this kind of has a really rich flavor. So it has a slight coconut flavor. So just to let you know. Um, now, um, another idea could be bergamot, grapefruit, lime, black pepper. Black pepper strong, so I would dip a toothpick inside of the oil bottle and kind of rub it around. And cinnamon, cinnamon and chocolate, yum. There's so many options. Okay, now this is one, oh, do not forget the honey. It's not sweetened yet. So two teaspoons, now it's two of everything, but the, it was tablespoons before. Two teaspoons honey or agave syrup or maple syrup. It'd be fun to hear what type of chocolate flavor you like. Let me know in the comments. Okay. And I kind of like to taste it before I put in the molds to make sure it's sweet enough because it's pretty much gonna taste how it is. Okay, here's some another cool way you um, can flavor your candy. We got these freeze-dried raspberries. My girls ended up not really liking them, but I quickly blitzed it in the food processor. Look how pretty that is. Now I have raspberry powder. So I'm gonna put like three of these kind of big spoonfuls in here. And it also sweetens it up. And this is what I broke a piece off and you can see it looks really pretty too. Um, you could kind of see the specks in there. Okay. It's not as smooth, but it's still, it looked good on the outside. And then I'm just going to fill this up and put them in the freezer. So yummy, delicious. Um, when you get dark chocolate, it's a little bit healthier. You might want to label your, um, chocolates too. So you know, which is which, or just have a surprise when you take uh, take a bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. This only made mm, four, yeah, four big hearts in my mold. So there you have it. Easy peasy. I'm actually going to serve these at a Valentine party I'm having tomorrow. I hope you try it.